because they have all sorts of different plates and they're very sort of discreet. Um, there's like snow pea, pickled lemon, and mint. Like, you know, or like gooseberry, horseradish, and watercress. That's a dish. But their drinks are pretty cool. It was like boysenberry and basil soda. So I just got strawberry and watermelon, strawberry and mint. So this is my water, why do I keep on saying watermelon? Strawberry basil soda. It comes in a really cool glass. It's a little bit like too sweet, but it's good. So we just got our food right now. I decided to stick to some pasta just to be safe, you know? I didn't want to get something totally weird that I wouldn't like. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm good. I'm good. It was really good. Yeah. Okay. So I tried some. It's really good. It tastes a lot like tomato, but it's actually a little bit spicy. Wait, I think this place is called Amano, which means by hand in Italian. And I think that they make the pastas here, which makes sense because it tastes really fresh. So we just got our dessert. Um, it's a hazelnut cake with mama. It's a hazelnut cake with hazelnut cream, apricot. Let's try it. Day two. We got our pancakes. Just finished our meal. Now we're gonna have some coffee. So, um, did I want to say? So, <laughs> day we sort of have this extra day before we leave back home. Our flight is really late in the evening, so we have to find a way to plan it out well. The first thing that we're gonna do is go buy a suitcase because we're just like, just really need a suitcase because we bought so many souvenirs and stuff and just accumulated clothes. So we're gonna go walk on Queen Street, which is where our hotel is situated. There's tons of shops here, very mainstream shops, like popular ones. So we stumbled across Vulcan Lane, and this is actually a place that I was checking out on TripAdvisor, and they really wanted to come here. And then suddenly I just like look at it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks just like the picture. This is it. So anyways, I think it looks a little bit like Rodeo Drive, just because of like that corner over there. There's lots of stores and cafes and shops. It seems like it would be more exciting at night, just because it's kind of dead now. Here. It's called coffee ice. It's reversed. It's got some really cool stuff here. I really like it. It really reminds me of the Melrose Trading Post just because they have like so much variety and different styles. We just had some pizza at this place called Proper Pizza. It was okay. It was fine. We got a margarita but it barely had any like tomato sauce and it was just cheese and the bread was kind of flat but you know what we were hungry so it tasted good one hour later hey guys so we're at this really cool ice cream place called Giappo and when you first come in you have to wait in line like we're doing right now and you get to look at the menu so there's tons of weird different cones and flavors and then you go inside and then there's someone who like talks to you about what you want. So in the box this has everything you need to know. It has the name, what's inside and all the toppings and decorations. So this is called the selfie cone. I got this chocolate flavor that's named after Cher because she actually came here. And this raspberry cone, it's a huge ice cream. Like, imagine I went like that and it all just fell. That would be really sad. This is very sort of fancy and different, very creative. I've never been to an ice cream place like this. 
expensive, but, but worth it. Definitely, if you're a foodie or you love ice cream, which is practically everyone, you should come here. So my mom and dad also got one. They don't want to be in the vlog because, you know, they don't want paparazzis following them everywhere. So, she got... The waterfall. The whatever? Whatever. Waterfall. <laughs> they also mentioned that they have something here that no other ice cream shop has, which is 3D printed ice cream. So they have this sculpture of a squid, and it's the first 3D ice cream ever. Two hours later. So we came to walk here by the marina, by the port where the cruise left us yesterday. At first it was kind of boring because there was nothing around, but we came to an area where there's lots of shops and restaurants and we got a few last minute souvenirs for all our friends back home um the sun is coming out wow uh so far it's been really great weather a little bit windy sometimes it's kind of unpredictable but it's a good day in auckland Later. So now we're in the taxi. We're gonna go to the yeah. airport right now. Um, it's sad to leave, obviously, but I'm really happy that I'm gonna go back home after such a long trip. Um, but yeah, Auckland has been really nice, and I'm so grateful that I got the chance to come here and visit.